Hello, this is David Wormsley and this video is following on directly from my last one where I was taking a look at a new plugin being developed by the Beaver Builder team called Beaver Thema. Now, at the moment, this has just been released as an alpha version and is available to Beaver Builder customers to download and try out for themselves, but it's some way off from being available to purchase and use on our live sites. But this is what I've tried to do here is to give you a live demo version so you can try it out yourself. So I've included some plugins that you might want to use with this. So there's the Beaver Builder theme in here. There's the ACF Pro plugin, which is the advanced custom field plugin that creates fields that connect with Beaver Builder modules, which is what we're covering in this video. I've included the custom post types UI, which is a plugin that allows you to create custom post types. And also there's WooCommerce in here, and I've already started setting up some examples with some products in here. So this might save you a bit of time and you can use my server for this. Now, what you'll need to do to make use of this is to go to the link that's below the video. That'll take you to thema.beaverjunction.com. And on this one, I'm asking you to include your email address and press try the demo. This will then send you an automated email with a link on it. And when you click on that link, it will have created a version of this site with you already logged in and you can pretty much do what you like with it because it's not going to break the main site. So that's how that works. Now, if none of this makes any sense to you, then you probably need to just go and pop down to these videos here. Here's my earlier walkthrough, which goes on, I think, for about 25 minutes, and it covers most of the stuff that this plugin can do at the moment. But perhaps a better one to go to is the official ones that were released just after I made this one by Justin Booser, who's the lead developer for this. This one has the basic walkthrough. And if you go and click on this link, it will take you to where there are seven other videos which uh, give you most of the detail that you're going to need. But here I thought it was quite useful to get some hands-on and some working examples so you can see how it connects. So that's what I'm trying to do here. One thing I just want to mention on here, I, I mentioned it just on this bit of text here that you're invited to join my newsletter list. If you click the OK, you're going to join that. Now, don't feel you have to do that. I'm not trying to build up an email list for any products that I've got coming out in the future. That's not why I'm doing this. I do have an email list and fortunately, and I owe people an apology, those people who signed up that I haven't sent you a single newsletter yet. But hopefully I'll build up some more people and I'll send you something that's I think will be related to um, the people who watch these videos and so probably something Beaver Builder related. But I'll take your feedback. But just to know that it's not uh, some sort of marketing tool on my behalf, not with this. Okay, so let's go and take a look at modules here so you can see what I've set up. And I'm not going to go and teach you how to use this. I'm really just going to show you what I've set up so you can go and look how things are connected and, and work things out or do your own experiments. So what I've done here on this page, now this is a single page with its own theme layout that I've made and it's just on the one page called module page. And what I've also done with this link in the navigation here, as you'll see on the top here, I've set this one to go to the theme layout. So when we're looking at page builder here, it's not gonna send us into the usual page builder view. It's actually gonna take us into the theme layout page builder, if that makes sense. So it just saves a step and I can just show you this here with this. Effectively, this is going to take us to this place, which is, would be the back end to the beef, to the sorry, to the builder, to theme layouts, to the module page section that I've set up, and to this edit theme layout. So that, that's going to the same place. And if we clicked on this one, edit theme layouts, it's going to take you to this view. So it's just to save you a bit of time, really, with that. And also, I set up these buttons over here. Now this one will take you to the advanced custom fields settings for that have been applied to this theme layout and this page. So what I've done here, and I'll just go down to the bottom here, I've set up this advanced custom fields, all these advanced custom fields under a group. And this group is only going to show on post types that are equal to page. And then I've set another one here that this page only equals to modules. So these fields are only going to show on this particular page. Uh, so you can see that there. 
and let's go back again and we're going to click on this this is to edit the page so this is to see the normal editor view for this page and this is what it looks like and there's all the fields installed and i populated them already so if you look down this side as you can see we've got module image module gallery some text and this relates exactly to image gallery and some text over here so hopefully that makes sense what you need to know when you you can just add a field and create your own type of field here and it will add it to uh, this page but what we need to know when we're making these connections is we need to know this name over here which i put uh, an underscore on each of these to separate these out and as you can see here the type of field that is used is shown down this side hopefully that all makes sense now now let me go back over here now I'm talking a lot about advanced custom fields but I should mention and I put a little note on the bottom here is that this is the plugin that they tested first with this alpha release as I understand it and you certainly don't need the pro version because most of the stuff that works with beaver theme in fact Really, I think nearly all of it works with the free version. I've just happened to have it, so I've included it. But it also works with other custom field plugins like pods and WP types. These are both available on the repository. WP types also goes with Toolset, which is a popular suite of tools, which I, I also use a bit as well. But these two are free and they work. This is community members who have told me all about this one because they're you know, vigilant and they check these things out straight away. I believe with WP types that you just need to know the prefix that goes with WP types to make that work. But I'm not going to go into detail here because I think advanced custom fields, the free version works really well with this. And the next thing I just want to let you know about, because this is something I was just testing out for myself, sure this will change as we move up through the versions i'm sure this may be not 100 percent accurate and i will try and change this as things change or as i may have got things wrong but i wanted to work out which modules could be connected to advanced custom fields and which couldn't be which were dynamic and non-dynamic so these are the ones which are dynamic all of these include somewhere in the module some way to connect these up to the custom fields plugins or just ordinary fields actually you don't you can use the wordpress fields themselves to connect up and add content to these and these are the non-dynamic ones so as far as i can see on all of these ones here there are no connectors within any of the settings okay so let's take a look now so we'll go in we'll click on the page builder but as i mentioned it's, it's actually going into the theme layout and you can see that here because it gives you this preview where normally you'd be able to preview other pages but as i mentioned uh, there is just the one page here and i can just show you that actually over this side if i go to the back here under the builder here we can see in the theme layouts here we've got the module page so it's picking a singular and that's a single page and it's just assigned to the one page called modules i hope that makes sense Okay, let's go back. So here we are, and we'll get rid of that. And as I say, a lot of static content in here because I just wanted to give you some information. Um, let's just take a look at this first one. This is a gallery I've put here that it's using this tag of module gallery. And if we pop over here, we'll see, there we are. There's the module gallery. And if I open this up, we can see I've found here a place where we can connect so what we're looking for in all of the modules is this little plus icon because this means that there is a connector here that we can use and what i've done is i've gone it's it's context aware so it shows you what you could possibly put in there so this is a photo one so we will choice really of the attached images the post attached images or actually page in this case or we had advanced custom fields so i chose that and I selected the field that I wanted, which we uh, know what that was called. So I'm just going to cancel that. And I've done the same with the same slideshow here to make this. Uh, I've used a gallery rather to make this slideshow with the same. And with video, I don't know if you spotted that. We went down there. Video is one of the ones that's non-dynamic. So what I've done here is I've used a field is available over here which is this one the o embed and use that to place video 
here and then I was able to connect this one to just an ordinary text module and I could have done that with a HTML module because once you're in there let's have a little look at it you get this plus icon over here and you can just select from this and I can select multiple things actually in here and place them you just have to make sure in fact I'll just show you that because this is not so obvious um, let's see if we go over here if we want to insert that we can click this and it will add in a new field into that text module but if we if we go via or let me we don't go and pick the insert let me just do that again uh, and pick uh, something else as a, a name what did I put in there so we'll have module uh, we'll say module WYSIWYG if I do it that way as you see it's just closed off the whole area for this so if you want to insert multiple things within a text editor you want to make sure that you select the insert option which would be available if I if I allowed it to be available there um, okay so that's that's something to be aware of and something else which I came across here was when I was doing some tabs here and what I could do it allowed us to connect up the titles or the headers here and also to place in content and I believe this is the same for the accordion module but what happened here was quite an interesting thing and I just need to I'll just publish this so we can be on the outside of this so you can see it so I can click through to the different sections so what I did when it came to text 3 here so I, I lined these up text 1 2 and 3 here they relate to these ones which were these text 1 2 and 3 here and I if we pop down here I, this is what is outputting on the top here and what I tried to do here is to put an image module into our content here and it didn't accept this it could be me perhaps but I think this is the case in a lot of circumstances where we're inserting things it needs us to pick a text based field so there is a way of getting around this and I used it on this one which is to use the WYSIWYG field instead so WYSIWYG is just working like the normal WordPress editor when you include it and you can add in your media so it works with that it didn't work if I tried to put in some other image fields I hope that makes sense okay and I've done another one here so there's the call out module which has quite a lot of connectors here for the header the text the images the button text and the links here I think there might be a little bit of a bug on this one because it wasn't centering as I expected it to do so I might just report that one in but of course you know we're alpha things uh, this is the whole point of having an alpha so you can test it out when it's not quite all there okay I hope this is been useful to you it's really a case of coming in and trying out some of these demos for yourself and messing around seeing how it works and I hope that's useful I think with the next video I shall be looking at my WooCommerce shop setup and I've set up um, some different pages here and I think I shall play around some more and show you what I've done there and see what issues come up with that but if you want to go and look and play around with it yourself that's perfectly fine now so anyway that's me done I hope this was useful to you if you liked it then please give me a like and if you've got any suggestions for me then please leave me a comment but until then hope to see you next time bye bye